With the latest iPhone updates, Apple improved the cameras, making professional quality photos accessible to pretty much everyone. However, this comes with a downside storage space. So today I'm going to show you how to quickly clear storage on your iPhone and make your phone clutter free. But before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way you'll never miss out on our content. Okay, so first things first, you need to check the storage on your iPhone. And to check this information, make sure to go to settings, general, and iPhone storage. Sometimes it takes a while for the information to show, but it usually doesn't take more than 10 to 15 seconds. At the top, you will see a color-coded bar showing how much space you have left, how much is taken up, and what's taking it up. And towards the bottom of the page, there is a list of your apps sorted by how much space they take. You can tap on each app to see how much of that space is the app itself and how much is the app's documents and data. Now, the biggest categories are usually photos and apps, but that will depend on your usage. As you can see here, my photos are currently taking up 109 gigabytes of storage and WhatsApp is taking up 31.28 gigabytes of storage. So after checking your iPhone, which category is taking up the most space? Let us know down below in the comments. But okay, now that you know what's taking up space on your iPhone, you also know things that you might be okay with deleting. Also, something important to consider is that there are probably a bunch of duplicated photos, similar shots, like five photos of my cat Leo that I took to make sure I would have missed a moment, notes, screenshots, and large videos. You could go through your library and delete this manually, but can you imagine how long it would take you? So here comes Clean My Phone to help you free up space a lot quicker. Make sure to download Clean My Phone. I've included a link down below in the description and open it. Then make sure to have the first option selected, declutter, and tap on scan. Here's where the app will use its advanced AI model to analyze and sort your media files, selecting those you may not want to keep any longer. Then you can tap on each of the categories of clutter, such as WhatsApp, screenshots, Instagram, screen recordings, Lightroom, blur, duplicates, and select the photos that you want to keep, and then tap on clean, or you can actually just tap on clean right from the start. Next, the second module that you can use is Organize. Once you tap on Scan, the app will show you stuff to organize. And just like the declutter option, it will also give you similar photos that you might want to delete and recommend photos that might not be that relevant for you. Also, something nice is that it allows you to scan your files from last week, last month, or you can even set a custom filter to scan files from specific years or locations of your photo library in order to optimize the cleanup process. Again, after the scan is complete, you can tap on each of the categories to deselect the ones that you want to keep and then tap on clean, or you can go ahead and clean it all, finish right from the start. Next, your iPhone might be storing caches and other data that you don't need, and you would be surprised how much space you can free up just by clearing your browser cache. To do this, go to Settings, Safari, and tap on Clear History and Website Data. Here you can choose last hour, today, today and yesterday, all history. You can also enable to close all tabs and then tap on Clear History. For Chrome, make sure to open Google Chrome on your iPhone, tap on the three dots on the bottom right corner, tap on settings, scroll down, tap on privacy and security, and here you'll have the option to tap clear browsing data. Select which data you want to clear and tap on clear browsing data. Now, unlike browsers, apps usually don't give you access to their cache and other data such as login information. And while checking the iPhone storage, you could see that documents and data section taking up space on your iPhone as well. So here's how you can clear that app data to clean up more space. 
Before you start, make sure to remember your logins or have them saved somewhere because you might need them when logging back in. Then go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage, and here you will choose an app from the top of the list as these are the ones taking up more space. Tap Delete App, Delete App again, and reinstall it. And I know, unfortunately, this is the only way to clear cache and other app data for the majority of apps. And before we move on, make sure to check out our video on how to clear cache on Mac. The link is included in the description. Getting back to the iPhone, we all text. And texting isn't just about text, right? We usually send memes, GIFs, selfies, videos of our cats, and all of that content is stored on our iPhones, even if we don't save it to photos. So in case you want to delete all of your attachments and messages to clear more space, make sure to go to Settings, General, iPhone Storage, scroll down, tap on Messages, and here you'll see a list of top conversations, photos, gifts and stickers, and other. Tap on the category that uses more space, but keep in mind that you will be deleting entire threads, not only attachments, if you choose top conversations. So only delete conversations if you really want to and you're okay with losing your history. You can definitely stick to deleting only photos and other content, but be intentional about what you choose to delete. So after selecting the category, make sure to tap on edit in the right upper corner, mark your attachments, and then tap the trash icon. And last but not least, if you have the habit of saving content to access offline in order to be able to play your music or videos on the subway or during your long flight, you might have a lot of things taking up space that way too. So on Netflix, for example, you can delete offline content that you have saved. Open Netflix, go to your Netflix, tap on downloads, tap on the pencil icon and choose whatever you want to delete and tap on the X to delete it. On YouTube, you can do the same thing and delete the videos that you have downloaded. So make sure to open the YouTube app, tap on your profile picture, tap on downloads, tap the three dots next to a downloaded video and tap the lead from downloads. You can follow these steps for each video that you want to remove from your download section and also make sure to check all your streaming apps like Amazon Prime, Hulu, Spotify, Apple Music, and more. And there you have it. This is how you can clear storage on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. That way you stay in the loop for all things iPhone. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.